Trey Sutton was engaged and set to be married this June. At this time, his fiance Zoe Pearson is not ready to talk about the loss on camera and understandably so. However, she did share pictures of the two of them with CBS 6 and also a heartfelt written statement. Crime Insider John Burkett reports. Officer Trey Sutton is Henrico County's 10th in line of duty death. And even though he was on patrol with his field training officer for just a short time, he made a big impact on his community. Here's a tribute to Trey. Uh, it was gut wrenching uh, to, to hear the, the type of call. He was having a good time. Uh, so, you know, for me, seeing that, that's, that's what's going to give me joy because I know he was doing what he wanted to do. I held his hand and I told him that he's loved and that he's safe and to just keep breathing in and out and that God is with him and that it's all going to be okay. The saying goes, you fall in love three times in life, the first love, the hard love, and the unexpected love. Trey was all three for me. Our relationship started unexpectedly, but we were lucky enough to be each other's first love at the same time. It was giddy and intoxicating, but the hard love brings pain and hard lessons in our journey had a fair share of teachable moments. Two months ago, Officer Trey Sutton had his Henrico police badge pinned on by a loved one at a graduation ceremony. I don't want the remembrance of Trey to be of pain, but of his quick humor, caring and selfless demeanor, and the immense love he never failed to give. As I always say, this too shall pass, uh, but it's not gonna be easy. Crime Insider sources telling me the arrested man sitting in the front of the squad car and also the field training officer that was sitting in the back passenger side of that cruiser. They're both still in critical care at BCU Medical Center. Working for you, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.